So about seven months ago, I made a video on recreating the Stranger Thing intro, and just like every other video of mine, it came and it died, you know, it didn't get a lot of traction, it just, it fizzled out. I didn't think much of it, I kept making videos, until recently, recently I got a comment saying, Hey Melzod, Melzod you tasty piece of meat, and I'm, yo, ow, ow, yo, that was creepy guy. Don't say shit like that in public, tasty piece of meat, I'll take that as a compliment, you know, I'll take that as a compliment, but hey, he said, could you recreate this video in HitFilms Express? Cause I don't have pro and hmm, can I, you know, is the real question. Oh, obviously I can. Don't look at me like you second guess me. Don't second, never second guess me. Of course I can do it. And this should be goddamn easy, yo. Cause we don't need to go in the composite chart. We can do everything in the edit tab. And it's just that simple because we are not using the neon path effect. If we're using a neon path effect, that's a layer only, you know, uh, plugin but yeah since we are not using that we can do everything in the editing tab and if you feel I'm lagging behind today that's because I am I kind of messed up my right arm I went to do a bunny hop to wall ride and it didn't go as planned it really didn't go as planned I just crumpled into the wall and <laughs> yeah it, my hand is kind of you know messed up it's not that bad so you know it's alright but just you know moving around with the mouse and all kind of hurts so yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Let's not make it a big of a deal. And we're back in hit films. Yo, it's crazy. You might be like Mailzot. What a scumbag, right? You're still using hit films pro, you cheeky little doo doo bird. Yeah, true. I'm using hit films pro because I really don't want to download another software. But don't you worry. I'm not gonna use any pro features. I'm gonna use everything that's you know openly available in Express. So yeah, it, just follow along. Even though I'm using pro, that's not gonna affect anything. So let's start by you know adding the text because it's a text animation come on guys what the hell is wrong with you what else would y'all do make some i don't know what come on uh i'm writing stage danger i think i wrote the same thing before i don't really remember align it to the center because we're gonna need that expand and just hit control r so you know everything is to the center now yeah we have to increase the font by a shit ton i'll 200 200 looks good now, we have to make the S and the R big, so the way we're gonna do that, just select your S and make it 300, like Sparta. 300 is the Sparta thing, and this is so 300. Now, before I actually align the tops, I'm just gonna stretch it out because the logo is stretched, the intro is stretched. I keep saying logo for some reason. Now, let's align the tops, so it's super simple. Just move this down, boom, and move, do the same thing with the R. How much was this? I didn't see it. Minus 40. Let's keep it the round figure. That's always good. Keeping it the even numbers. I don't know. I just change shit right now. And that's how simple it is. If y'all are following me at home, the only thing left is make the white transparent and get a black out and get a red outline to it. So the way we do that, select your text, come over here and you know, make the alpha to zero. Yep, sorry for that. And make your outline, which is that thing over there, 10. 10 looks good. I'm already on red, so I don't need to change it. Convenient, right? Um, yep, and that's it. That's how damn we are really close to it now The only things you know, what? let's go with the effects later. Let's make The bars so making the bars is as simple as just get a plane make it red as well um, Okay, and come over here and just drop these now Double tap on the mask the rectangular mask thing and come in the transform and unlink the scale make this to I don't know 10 2 takes 5 do you think? Uh, it's too good. I, I know I'm going with four. Yeah, I make this as small as y'all need. I think, uh, yep, that's good enough. Now just position it to where y'all would like it to be. I think right there. Now just duplicate this mask, make this subtract, come to your shape, and make this five. Is this touching? Okay, well, it just let's move the position a little higher, I guess. Oh, you know what? Let's do a better thing. Come to your second mask, which is subtract, and go in the shapes and do minus five. Yeah, that's that's actually better. Now to make the bottom bar is as easy as just duplicating the top bar, and you know I might just reset the transform to it, drag it along down bottom, little up. Yep, perfect. Now go in the mask and duplicate the top mask, the one which is still add. Bring it down, make it subtract, open transform, and just decrease this. I think 57, 57 looks good. Now. Don't do this, the best way to split it is to make a new layer and make two individual ones because you might end up with these open ends over here. But for all you pro users, I might have a hack for this if y'all still want to do it in the editing layer. So the easiest way is to come over here in the effects, get a 
inner glow and a outer glow. So in the inner glow, just sample this to be black, opacity, size and spread, everything maximum. In your outer glow, just sample it to be the red color. Opacity should be here. I think this should be five. Did I have 45? I said five. And the spread should be max. Now all you have to do is delete this mask, definitely. Duplicate this one, make it as subtract. And in your transforms, just do that. Now, you see what I'm saying? You might not end up with these open ends over here, whereas you end up with closed ends. So that's for all the pro users over there. But I'm, um, yeah, you know, let's just go with the non-pro users right now. So come in the effects to make the glowish right now. So come in the, what the hell is, the, oh, I hit the behavior, some mistake, right? Come in your effects and get a glow. Um, I would get an outer glow again, yes. I would get a neon glow and I would get just the glow. Yep. Probably these are the three effects you're gonna need. So over here, again, sample the red. Um, let me just drop these out, man. God damn. Um, yep. So that's the outer glow. Let's go with glow right now. And too much, too much. I mean, just play around with them. I'm just playing around right now and seeing what sticks to the wall. Make this red as well. Wow. Um, can I make these small? Can I change these to um, lighten? Is it better than screen? Nah, I think screen is better. Nah, you know, I'm leaving it lighten as of now. But yeah, and my favorite effect of all time, heat distort. God damn, heat distort looks always good. Now again, just I'm um, gonna change the animation to 0.5. Oh wait, just 5 I think, and 0.5 over here. But that would be super slow if we'd made that 0.5. Um, 20? I meant 20. Uh, might so do this. Does it look good? Does I know I'm gonna reduce it all the way. Um, scale might increase it, might not. Okay, yeah, I mean, screw it. Now, to just recap, these are all the effects I used. Uh, let me just open all of them and y'all can. Oh, wait, that's chained as well. So, yeah, y'all can check the effects I've used. These are all the effects. Um, let me just collapse all actually. Um, for the top, I think I'm just gonna, you know, go with three of these and just might throw it up. Yep, that's it. I mean, it looks decent. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look as good as the neon path, but. It looks decent. Now, the last thing is the smoke. And the easiest way is to get a smoke from here. I think so. Yes. Um, yep. I'm gonna unlink the audio just for it because I'm not gonna need it as of now. This looks really bad. So I might come over here, click the smoke, go in smoke. And over here, just play around with your settings. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I might know what I'm doing. But yeah, just play with these. Come back over here. I'll get a fill color. Um, so the fill color right over there. Uh, bang. And just make it the same color. Boom. Right? And that's that's a stranger thing over there. Now, if you can text animate this, I'm just going to move that because that's really CPU intensive. So just get a... Whoops. What am I doing? Okay, just get a text over here. You can drop... Since this is a text, you can drop anything. Let me drop all of this and give it a shot. Uh, I mean, this looks bad. It does certainly look bad. But y'all can work with, you know, y'all can work with these. These are just things I'm throwing out. Y'all can catch it. But yeah, pretty much that's how you make the Stranger Things in the Express version. I hope y'all liked it. If y'all did, it's really hot, you know. God damn, I'm... Y'all can see me sweating my ass off right now. Shit, it's hot. But hey, thanks for watching and yep, that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>